Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to model equations using the TI Inspire CX2 or the TI Inspire CX. Okay, so to begin with, we have this model, and these rec rectangles represent your x values, and the little squares represent your units. Okay, so right here I have one, two, three negative x's, so I have negative 3x, and then I have one, two, uh, negative two or minus two units. This bar represents your equal sign. And here I have one, two positive x's, so I need to make sure I put two x's. Do not forget the x, and let's count our units. Plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five, plus six, plus seven, plus eight. So now we're going to go to our calculator. We're going to add a calculator, and we're going to click on menu. We're going to go to algebra and numerical solve. So we're going to type in our equation. So I have negative 3x. This is a minus 2 because it's between two things. It's between the variable, okay, and a constant equals to 2x plus 8. And I have to put comma x because I want the calculator to solve for x. So my solution is going to be x is equal to negative 2. Let's do another one. Again, my rectangles represent my x values, and the squares represent our units. So in this case, I have a negative x, so I'm going to put negative x. And then how many units do I have? Plus 1, plus 2. This bar means equals. I have two x's that are positive, and my units minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. So again, we go to our calculator, menu, algebra, numerical solve, and we're gonna put negative x plus two equals to two x minus four comma x. Always put comma and then your variable that you're using. So x is equal to now we have a word problem. Uh, remember that we use the strategy to plug in our information. We have keywords to look for, the words per, each, every, and of, a, and monthly. Okay? So let's read what it says. USA charges $7 for the first pound and 20 cents for each additional pound. Federal Express charges $5 for the first pound and 30 cents for each additional pound. How many pounds will it take the USA and the Federal Express to cost the same? So the word same means equals. So we're talking about two different people. We're talking about the USA and Federal Express. So let's go ahead and number our lines. Now on USA, let's look for one of these keywords to help us find our slope. So here I have $7, charges $7, and over here I see 20 cents for each additional pound. So the word each represents, um, it's going to help us represent our slope. So I have 0 0.20 each. And for USA, there is an extra number, which is 7 because they're going to charge us that. Now let's look at Federal Express. On line two, Federal Express charges $5 and 30 cents for each additional pound. The keyword is each. See how it's here? That is my slope. And my extra number is five. And the keyword is charges. So now we have to put everything in slope intercept form where M is the slope and B is the y-intercept. So if I look at my box, my slope for USA is 0 0.20 times, we have to put the X plus my y-intercept is 7. Equals to 0.30 X plus so let's go to our calculator, menu, algebra, numerical solve, and I'm going to put 0 
times x plus 7 equals to 0 0.30 x plus 5 comma x. So they will both cost the same when x is 20, 20 pounds. Let's do a multiple choice one. Smith's Water Park has two types of season passes. Plan A charges a one-time fee of $100 for admissions plus $8 per parking. Plan B charges a one-time fee of $50 for admissions plus $18 per parking. How many visits must the visitors make for plan A and B to be equal? So again, the word is equal. Okay, so plan A and plan B have to be equal. So you need to make sure you create these boxes for yourself. And here are my answer choices. So for Smith, for plan A, they charge a one-time fee of $100, and they have the word $8 per parking. So again, per each, every, and of A. So per is my slope for plan A. So I have $8 per, and my extra number is $100 fee. For plan B, they have a one-time fee of $50 and $18 per parking. So I have $18 per, and I have an extra number of $50, which is the fee. So now we have to write our, answer, our equations in slope-intercept form. So 8 times x plus 100 is equal to 18 times x plus 50. So let's go to our calculator, menu, algebra, numerical solve. We have 8x plus 100 equals to 18x plus 50 comma x. So there we have it. They will have an equal value when x is 5. So my answer is going to be letter C. All right, guys. Well, this is it. I really hope you enjoyed this video.